Well, you know, it's a um, two different offenses, but you know, two pretty high-powered offenses, and you know, we knew we had to, uh, you know, to get a couple of stops um, defensively to get our guys the ball back, and we did that once in the first half, and then twice in the second half on a fourth down stop and a big turnover. So. You know, that made the difference of, uh, you know, the time of possession and getting the ball back and scoring. And, you know, we had a, a freshman kicker step in there when we needed to and, um, and then put one through the uprights for us to get out of that eight-point game um, uh, trade trade off back and forth. But, you know, what can I say? They're a, they're a heck of a football team. Holy name, uh, they played 44 minutes. They came at us. We uh, we knew what we were going to expect, and, and um, we were able to respond and make some plays when we needed to. Did you see what you wanted to see with the new offense? I mean, I'm sure you're just working up kinks as the game goes on. Did you just see from, from the quarterback, running back positions what exactly what you were looking to do? Or? Yeah, you know, I, Shad, number one, I, you know, he's if not one of the best tailbacks I've seen around here in a long time. He's pretty close to it. You know, he just uh, plays both sides of the ball, and, you know, he's uh, tough. He secures the football, and, you know, he keeps his legs moving once he gets uh, he gets hit. You saw a couple of weight room runs there where he got hit and just kept grinding his legs and got next, getting extra yards. Andrew did a heck of a job, Andrew Smiley, today, I think, running the football. You know, a couple of times we thought he could have pulled it and, you know, and, and gotten some positive yards when they were Learning. You know, if you look at his learning curve from the way he was a week and a half ago, getting reps is helping him run our offense better. So, um, you know, it's, um, it's week one, and, you know, we got to get ready to play a long meadow. It looked like it looked like you kind of let Smiley open up at the beginning of the second half. You called a lot more pass plays. Is that something that you guys did, or is that just how it worked out? Cause it so well, I think, uh, you know, we felt we could throw the ball into the wind in the third quarter. We had a couple of situations where, um, you know, we ran an X middle screen and worked out pretty well and got some eight yards there. And he made some nice throws on the perimeter on the run, which, you know, is one of his strong suits. And, you know, we got him in a position where he had a run throw option. So, you know, he's, he's pretty fast when he turns the corner. So we just um, we just needed to keep moving the ball and, and score more points than they did, which we did. So. Do you sort of look at this going forward as, you know, like how much do you attribute to, well, that's a holy name in Koran Wright. You have to, well, before you address really anything on the defense, or is it a matter of just what something you see, some things you have to work on? Well, I think um, you know we, we adjusted pretty well today defensively, where we moved some guys into different spots, and uh, you know we I think when we look back at our two or three scrimmages, we played pretty well against conventional offenses, and you know we got to be able to stop the run, you know when they line up in power eye and bash it at us. So that's the thing we need to do, and we're going to keep working at it. I think up front, uh, Rocco Frangillo stepped, stepped in and did a heck of a job for us. Uh, the sophomore Sam Norton played great for us. Uh, you know, we got to just get a little bit more, um, a little more from our, you know, outside guys coming in and, and not waiting for the run, running play to get to them and get to it. We had a couple of situations where we did that pretty well, and we just didn't clean it up coming back. But um, I think it's stuff that we can really, uh, we can build on. What about the way that Andrew really sold the fakes there? Obviously, a lot of timing has gone into that. Uh, the way that every time he kept the ball, the middle was open because they were so anticipating the the, uh, the zone there with with Shad. How much time has gone into that? We, you know, we stay on them all the time. About yeah. you know, in every drill we do about carrying out your fakes because what happens is it's like a block, really. Even if you don't, if you don't pull the ball as a quarterback, but you know, you, you carry out your fake, you might freeze. You know, a high safety, and that's the difference between that guy making the play on the backside and not. So, if you can get them, you know, to carry out their fakes, and then when they pull it, you know, you know, they, they have to respect it. You know, and uh, and he's got the kind of speed when he pulls it. You know, he's got a one-on-one. -on -one, he can run pretty good. So, uh, that, that helped us today. Uh, 